So hi dear Sagis, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Sagis, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, this is a reading from today till the 30th of November and this is for those who are completely single right now at this present moment. So I'm going to tap into your current energy and then I'm going to see your energies for who's coming towards you by the end of this month and the guidance. Yeah, hmm. let's start Sagis. Your current energies right now. At this present moment, we have the Seven of uh, Pentacles, the Two of Swords and the Strength card. You are waiting for your heart chakra to open again so that you can give and receive love the, the way you uh, like did in the past at some point of time. You are holding back this urge to be in connection in a relationship or in a uh, like a, a situationship kind of dynamic because you think you are not prepared or you think you are not in the right energies right now at this present moment. It's like you're waiting for the time when your heart chakra is going to open, but you're not doing anything about it deliberately. Like you're not healing, like you're not doing meditation or you're not healing yourself or you're not uh, preparing yourself to uh, like achieve that kind of opening up of a heart chakra kind of energy. And you are holding back this urge of connecting with anybody as of now because you think this is not the right time or the energies are not right or your mindset is not right. Yeah, you are in this energy of let me take it very, very slow. Uh, this much slow that uh, everybody might think that you are not interested in them at all. It's not the case. You might be waiting for the right energy to come in your life so that your heart chakra is going to open naturally. Or you might be in this energy of I don't want to get myself hurt again. That's why you are like holding back this urge to connect with anybody even though you want to. It's like from inside of you, deep deep inside of you are longing for love. But you are scared to open up. This is what is happening. Let's see who's coming towards you by the end of this month. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Star card. I do see a new person entering in your life. Yeah, a new person, a new energy entering in your life. It's going to be like a lot of conversation, a lot of communication between you guys. And it's going to be a very healing and soothing kind of energy where both of you are going to talk to each other like you, you, you know each other like from a very, very long time. And it's going to lead to this energy of, yes, I can see future with this person. Even if it is going to be like a conversation for a few minutes or few like uh, days for some of you you are going to feel like okay this person and i have the potential to have a future to go the, together or at least we have the potential to heal each other i think this person is also coming out of a trapped kind of energy of a mental jail kind of a situation where they were not able to let go of something or someone but when you guys are going to meet each other you guys are going to instantly connect with each other on that uh, like mental com connection is going to be very strong uh, where both of you are going to be uh, like talking about life in the same manner, thinking about life in the same manner and both of you are going to give each other a very positive and nurturing and uh, healing kind of energy. And at least one of you is going to see a future <laughs> uh, with the other person here. Uh, even if it is going to be again a, like a, a, just a conversation in uh, like about 2-3 days or 2-3 hours maybe. But you guys will see the potential in the situation. So the next person, the, the next energy, the new energy that's entering in your life might be an Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. They are also coming out of a bad phase of their life. Something they are not uh, that they are not able to let go of. Uh, it's quite painful for them. But when you guys are going to connect, you guys are going to talk a lot about life and uh, future direction of your uh, uh, careers and... Uh, healing energies it's like uh, going to be a mental connection very good very very good it's going to start with the mental connection let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation sagittarius for uh Sagis, uh singles till the end of this week uh month death card the wheel of fortune the fool card actually the thing is that you might not be over a situation that ended like uh, for some of you it ended 13 weeks ago for some of you 13 days only you are not ready for a like a uh, new connection or for a new relationship uh, uh, just like just right now. It's like uh, you don't want to take the risk again that much quickly. It's okay, I can understand your point. But Sagittarius, if someone, if universe is sending you some kind of healing energies, there's no harm in being friends or at least sharing your your energies with someone. It's always recommended to like date a person or to connect with a person for at least two, three, four months to see where things are going in a particular situation. But in your case, if you are connecting with the energy, you can take them as a friendship kind of dynamic only or you can take it as uh, like you, you, you don't have to have this, this kind of marriage expectation or happily ever after kind of expectation from a new person or a new energy. 
doesn't mean that you should not connect with anybody new at all it means that you should take it slow instead of jumping into a relationship or situation ship you should take it slow to the level of okay uh, i will see how things are going in the in the situation in the coming future as of now i'm just friend and as of now i'm just enjoying the present moment as of now just i'm i'm just enjoying the company yeah you can take it like that it's not like you have to completely shut yourself off or you have you have to completely out of uh, uh, touch from everyone no it's not like that it's just a matter of you taking things not so seriously or not too quickly not jumping into any kind of conclusion not uh, conclude not the conclusion of i don't want it or the conclusion of i do i do want it right now only okay find the middle ground so that you are not going to like make the like same mistake again that you did in the past that's why you're scared right because you don't repeat don't want to repeat the same cycle again in your life i can understand but take it slow enjoy the present moment and uh, be in a friendship kind of dynamic without having any kind of uh, very heavy expectation or high expectation and let's see yeah thank you so much for tuning in uh, sajis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste